Hello, hello, hello. I swear if I have any technical issues today. Firstly, it's on brand. Secondly, I should probably move this knife out of the view. Uh, thirdly, I'd be annoyed. I'd be very, very, very annoyed if there were any technical issues today because I am not in the mood to deal with them. Because, you know, I just want to have a nice, peaceful, easy Friday afternoon stream for me. I apologize to all my East Coast friends um, for the late stream. I had an appointment this morning and then afterwards I went and I bought a t-shirt and then I got some Lego. Not that you can see it. Um, not that one. I bought that. Um, I, I got the Elvis art for a video and for like an alternate build and all of that. Um, so I couldn't do this as early as I wanted to. So apologies. East Coast friends. Um, for me, it's 1.30 p.m. and apparently for Roman as well, it's 1.30 p.m. So, you know, good for us, I would say. Um, today, I'm actually like, I kind of don't want to open this set <laughs> because I know like it's just, it's one of those like rarer Harry Potter sets and this bad boy is sealed, okay? This, this is a sealed copy of the Graveyard Jewel, which is one of the most not for Nicholas, technically, yes, but I'm also going to do another alternate build first. 10.30 for me, and thanks for Marvel. Sorry. Look, once, look, the US clock changes next week. So, all of a sudden, streams are going to be much better time of day. Because for me, midnight on the East Coast is 4pm. So if I stream at midday, that's early. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm building this set today. I'm nervous to open it because it's sealed and it's expensive. This is horribly expensive um i'm getting to the point now where i've like i've like almost reached my goal of getting every single harry potter set and now i'm getting to the ones that are expensive which is painful um but we're getting there i'm getting there no i agree roman i cannot stand when people are like but look there's a there's a okay look i can understand it sometimes if you want to keep a set in its box but i'm always like a open it and enjoy it type of person, right? Like, it's cool to have a sealed set, don't get me wrong. Like, this is cool to have. But I want to open it. I want to enjoy it. I want to review it for Halloween. So, there's that. How was Disney? Disney was fun. Okay, I'll talk about that later because, like, it's a long... Yeah, the box is not big. Um, Like, look at the picture that they give you. Like, when you look up the set, look how wide that box is. It's not that big. I've also seen the um, Hungarian Horntail box, which was damaged in my hands as well. And that one was quite small. Um, so I'm, I'm excited. I'm discouraged with making content. Honestly, same. What did I do with my golden figures? I put them all on the little stand from the Hogwarts icons. And then I took them off my shelf recently and I put them in a box. So I'm not throwing this box in the recycling. Look, I'm one. I'm all about throwing Lego boxes away and like Lego instructions. However, I've got Harry Potter boxes from 2010 that I have kept all these years. So if I'm getting a sealed set with this pristine of a box, I'm keeping it. If the box was damaged, I'd chuck it. But like, this is this is good quality. It's also got thumb tabs, so I'm going to have to use a knife in order to like cut the seal open right now. I hate opening like sealed sets. Like, there's just something about it that I'm like, I don't want to do Like, if they're old. They're old, sealed, retired sets. I don't want to open them because I know that they're, like, valuable and all of that. So I just, I don't want to crack it. <laughs> Bengals, please tell me that was a reference to, like, the vine. Because I love that vine. One of my favourites. Do you think that there are two different boxes for this set? I don't think so. I'd assume no. But then again, like, I know that small boxes are a thing. Okay, let's... Let's uh, let's do this. I want to do this very neatly, so don't don't mind me. This might take a while, and I'm sure you're all gonna be mad at how long this is taking me because you know I could be building the set. I feel like I shouldn't bring the knife this way. Oh no! Did I just cut into the box? Oh dear. Oh dear. I really needed like an exacto knife or something. But I don't have one. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, um, this is... I mean, this is on theme for Halloween, isn't it? <laughs> Take your time. Okay, I'm going to. Because there's like a big chunk of glue right where the thumb tab is. That I'm trying to like pop open. 
I might get it. Hold on. Yeah, the member stream's gonna be this weekend. I didn't end up doing it earlier. It just was too difficult. How much was this? I'm pretty sure this was like a good... I think it was like 300, 400 US dollars. It was expensive. Okay, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. I'm cutting the glue, I'm cutting the glue. Okay, I've done it. Now, look at this. Ready? Oh! There is one less gra sealed graveyard jewel in the world, everyone. Oh, okay. Now that I can get talking again, because I've opened this box, look how neat that was. I did a great job. See? Go me. Go me. I know. This, like, this is the problem, right? I'm getting the expensive sets. I've got all of the Goblet of Fire ones now. I did cheap out getting the second task set and I've been trying to like make it a good quality set. Oh, like this is not, this is nice. I've never had like a set this old sealed. Like this is the oldest set that I've owned that I've had sealed. And I'm glad it's a Harry Potter set because like, this is cool. Like that's a cool box to have. Like I've got a Goblet of Fire box. That's Awesome. That is awesome. So like, oh no, this was a set with numbered bags. Wow, look at the old numbered bags. That's what they looked like, if anyone was wondering. I thought this wasn't gonna have bags. So, pink ice, fake fan. Hello, Cullen. I'm sorry that I'm doing it late. So that's bag two, what's this one? That one doesn't have a number, interesting. This one also doesn't have a number. And then we have bag one. Now, before I even start, I noticed this when I was staring at this box earlier. Um, I noticed on the box art that the Harry Potter face is wrong. I've never noticed that. I like. I always assumed that it was the proper face. Oddish is a member for five, five months. Wow, that's a long time. Woo! Thank you. Um, yeah, it's the face is wrong. <laughs> that's not what his face looks like. And I don't know if that's always been like that. I've just personally never noticed it. Um, then I was like, mm, all right then, apparently that's a thing. I'm like super excited for this. I, oh, look at that. And you can, you can read the instructions. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at the renders. Look at the renders. Even the face in the instructions is wrong. Look at that. It's funny. Thank you, Pen. Thank you, Pen. I didn't go to Galaxy's Edge recently this time. Though I did go earlier this year and I love it. I love Galaxy's Edge. I've seen the um, I've seen the Stormtrooper cuffs because I went inside the Star Wars store at Disney Springs. That firstly they had this really nice like vintage action figure T-shirt, and I wanted to get it to wear it to Star Wars Celebration, but it was thirty-seven dollars and there was a long line. So I looked it up online and I was like, it's seven dollars cheaper if I order it from Shop Disney. And then I found it on sale. It went on sale later, and I was like, well, well, good for me. I didn't end up ordering it yet, but I will. I will. I pre-ordered it when it released. I would definitely contact them about it. That should have been shipped when the set released. That is ridiculous. The new instructions look horrible. I know. I was going through my instruction drawers the other day. So I was trying to find a copy of them. Oof. Old reddish brown. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Glow in the dark Lord Voldemort. Hi this is so exciting for me. Um, and I looked at all the new instructions and I was like, well, I want to chuck all these out. Like, usually I'll keep, like, Star Wars and, like themed things, but I just looked at the old instruction, like the new instruction manuals, and I was like, this is gross. Gross, gross, gross. I hate it. So, wow, this is cool. Like, looking at all of, like, the old pieces, like, this is a really, really old set. Like, this is, this is ancient. All right, who have we got? We've got Wormtail. Does he have light legs? No. Lucius Malfoy's torso. I'm pretty sure this is just, like, a, I guess, like, like, Flesh tone version. I've glow in the dark snape. I've got one somewhere. I've got one somewhere. Hello, Luke. How are you going today? What year is it from? This is from 2005. So this is really cool. This set is as old as me. Don't. That's scary thought. That is a scary thought. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a right Lego Obi Wan. Oh. Like, this is really cool. So I don't know if this was ever discussed when the paper bag embargo lifted. That was a weird thing to have an embargo of, by the way, firstly. The reason they've changed is because the wands with lots of colours would smear against the paper bags, damaging the booklet. So why didn't they come out and say that, firstly, rather than to have a cohesive unboxing experience? Secondly, wouldn't the colours from the instruction manual still smear on them? 
like just put them all in cardboard sleeves. One, then the instruction manual is all straight. Two, you can still have the old art. That's stupid. That is stupid. Okay, here's one tell. Back to, back to exciting thing. Okay, can you focus, camera, please? There he is. There's one tail. Cool. He's supposed to have a shiny silver knife. That is cool. I don't have many chrome pieces in my collection because I don't have like too many old sets. But this is cool. I know I've got a chrome lightsaber hilt somewhere. I can't actually remember where I got it from. But, um, that's cool. I'm about to fly back from UK from Vegas. I, last time I went to Vegas, I hated it. <laughs> I used to, I, I remember going a couple of years ago and like I was a child back then. Keep in mind as well. And even then, it wasn't as horrible. <laughs> it wasn't as horrible. See, that's the Harry Potter face I went to expect. Not that we can see it. There we go. And they have cupboard sleeves. Yes, exactly, right? Like, you get my point? Like, like, I get the smearing on the paper bags, right? Like, perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Like, fair enough. Fair enough. But you're, you're not making them in black and white. The, the, the print color is the same. Oh, that's annoying. I just got the Winnie the Pooh set. I love that set so much. Honestly, one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Isn't that like retiring next year or something? Also, don't know if anyone is still after Sesame Street or can find it in stock, but Sesame Street retires, and that is also a fantastic set. He also has a knife. Drew. Oh, Clapson, thank you for the one US dollar. Ow! I just ripped this cape thing open. Wait, why are their capes different? Look at this, they're different. I don't know if you can tell, but the fabric is different. It, it looks exactly the same. It's different, I swear. <laughs> I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear, okay, okay. I have that said, I got it from a official steal two years ago. How much did you pay for it? I wanna know. How much did you pay? Cam, you'll be glad to know that I have a Squishmallow Roberto now. <laughs> he is cool. This set was expensive. He was expensive. Fair, Luke. Fair. I think it was like, from memory, it was like 300 US. I cannot remember exactly. What do I ask customer support about? I would question them up. I would be like, hello, I pre ordered the office. Here is my order number. Um, and ask why it hasn't shipped. <laughs> I, I do sound crazy right now. I'm just excited, okay? I'm excited. Like, this is like the oldest sealed set that I've ever had. This is a fun experience for me. Let me enjoy it, okay? I love this Voldemort head. Oh, it can't get it on very easily. Oh dear. Oh dear. My Walmart has the new office set. I saw it, um, it's kind of like come back in stock at like some of the Lego stores in Australia and like I really want it. But I'm also like, could just wait for it to go on sale at this point. There's Voldy, 150 US dollars. That is good. That is good. I mean, that's still exp that's expensive for a thrift store. But I'm glad. We love the excitement. Thank you. Thank you. I can't believe it's almost Halloween. I haven't finished my Barbie costume yet. Spoilers, I'm doing a Barbie costume. Hey Cam, thank you for the member mess. 17 months, that's ridiculous. Thank you so much for your continued support. Okay, I gotta get some sleep work tomorrow. Good, have fun. I have a related birthday. Thank you very much. Have a fun stream, get the avatar sets. I want the Banshee one. It's 25% off on Amazon at the moment and I am very, very tempted. Very, very tempted. That's lucky, Pam. And like, especially like Walmart, I guess being Walmart, you go in and you're like, yeah, let me get some cheap Lego. And then things go on sale or on rollback. Not that it's going to go on rollback anytime soon, but you know, you know. Yeah, I've got Sesame Street. I love it. Hope you get a sealed 2002 Dumbledore's office this weekend. <laughs> nice. I still need that set. That's one of the ones I need. I need that, like the original Privet Drive, the original Hogwarts Express. Um... What else? The original Quidditch set, Chamber of Secrets, which I should have bought at Brickworld Chicago. Never mind. It's always next year. Um, I've got all the Goblet of Fire sets. I need majority of the Prisoner of Azkaban sets. Like, I need that motorized Hogwarts Express as well. Man, that one's gonna be expensive. I'm not excited for that one. But I wanna, I wanna get them all, so I've gotta do what I've gotta do, okay? We'll get there. We'll get there. But then I also got so I can't ban. I mean, look, fair. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, Sesame Street was fantastic. Like, I almost forgot that that one was retiring. Speaking of, I saw that apparently the Coliseum for Australian Lego stores is retiring. 
That's a thing. Also, the new Avatar tree, you know, the one that just came out in October, also retiring soon. Um, so, like, Australia usually, like, retires sets early. But I feel like that that's a new that's a new level. We've re we've reached a new new level here. Um, confused. I haven't finished the wings yet. I bought the Hungarian Hauntel too. I haven't done anything with it though. Like I bought them and then I just shoved them in a storage container under my bed. I was like, I'll deal with these another day. And Cause like I want to go and build all of the like the old Harry Potter sets and review them all. And like I've still got my box of like original like two thousand and one and two thousand and two Harry Potter. And I'm thinking, like, I should probably start doing them next year. Like, I might try and do, like, one a month or something like that. And maybe around Harry Potter season do, like, two a month or something. Um, and, like, really, I guess just, like, knock them all out. Like, I'm going to do a review on this this weekend since it's Halloween. And, like, it's freshly built. And then I could put this in a storage unit and make sure that it stays, like, dust-free. Actually, I might put it on my shelf for Halloween and then take it down. But I'm excited. Bowser does look wonderful. Should I buy some more 501st Battle Packs before I re they retire? Yes, and you should get them off Amazon. And if you want to buy any 501st Battle Packs, there's an affiliate link in the description down below that will just take you to Amazon and then you can look up whatever you want. I don't care if you're not buying Battle Packs. Thank you. Um, please note, with affiliate links, I get a small percentage of the money from the set that they buy. I think it's like 3% or something. <laughs> it's not much, but never mind. Excited. Excited. The Avatar one literally came out less than a month ago. Exactly. Exactly. And like these Lego stores have been open like for a while now, like Australia. I think like the first Australian one opened in like 2018 or something. Whenever Apocalypse Bird came out, that was when it like opened. And like we really, we go through sets so quickly here. But like that's insane. Would I still be eligible for any recent gift with purchase? I don't think so, but I would definitely just like be like, hello, like... This should have set, because like usually they'll like sort of be like, oh, we're sorry, we're going to throw in something or we'll give you VIP points or something for the difficulty. So I definitely like, definitely be like, hello, this has been a very long time. So what's the worst Harry Potter set? I did a whole video about this and I can't even remember what I said the worst one was. I'm pretty sure it's like the original Dumbledore's hut, not Dumbledore's hut, <laughs> Hagrid's hut. Like that was bad. Gosh, can we like... At pink eyes, I swear, every time, right, so, leak of the Hogbuster, I was like, this is horrible, and then I saw the official photos, and then I saw that that buildable Iron Man was meant to fit inside it, and I was like, this is horrible, and then I saw mini superheroes today, like, it popped up on my TikTok, like, his, like, um, like, short version of his review, about how there was gaps in the side of the model, and I was like, I hate this even more now, and then I watched his review, I, like, skimmed over some sections, but I basically, like, wanted to just hear his, like, um, introductory and like end all thoughts and sort of look at it a bit and then I hated it even more the Hulkbuster is the worst Marvel set I think I've ever seen it's just it's so and then Mini Super Rose today puts up a comparison video and I remember the fact that the like old Hulkbuster is the same Hulkbuster suit and it was 120 US dollars oh Pen, you know what was t okay so I don't know how, like, well-known this is, but there was, like, a Lego deal the other day from, like, some store in the US. <laughs> and it was, like, it's only a store, I can't remember what it's called, but it was in, like, some, only, like, certain states. And there was a promotion where you could get battle packs for 15 bucks. Like, five of first battle packs. It was insane. Thank you, Light My Bricks. I love my, <laughs> I'm glad you, <laughs> I'm glad you saw it. I love the building, Matt. Thank you guys very much for this. It is literally the best. I'm so glad I just saw your comment there. I didn't see it for a second there. The, no, I can't go easy on the Hulkbuster. The Hulkbuster is like sad. Maya. Yeah, that one. But then, um, like, cause like a couple of my friends ordered things, right? <laughs> and then, like, we find out that like someone goes and like, like, picks the items off the shelf and that's how it gets delivered because it's not from, like, a distribution house. So, like, people would order, like, tons of stuff. I got someone to pick me up, um, the, like, the Dumbledore, these ones. These foil packs because I wanted to have enough to do the giant castle. And, um, those managed to go through but, like, none of the sets did. So, like, they would order, like, tons and then you'd show up and get, like, three. And I was like, that's funny. I do have a subreddit, Cullen. It should be linked in the description. It's called Holly Can't Upvote. I think. I can't actually remember what I called it now. Whoopsies, but that's bad. My favorite Sesame Street character is Elmo. I just, I've always loved Elmo. He's cute. He's adorable. 
Yeah, but like I was thinking about ordering 501st Battle Packs when I was in the US. Like I had a look and I saw some on shelves and I also saw a Republic fighter tank and I was like, ooh, I do need two more purple clones to have like two rows. Um, I didn't end up buying them. I did buy an AAT though, because I thought I needed one more 332nd to have an even number. And now I have an odd number again. <laughs> and I'm like, damn it. So I'm very, very tempted to um, ask one of my friends to grab me another one, because I need one. So, oopsies. There's no giant castle, there's just random builds that happen to connect. That's good with me. I just, I just want to have one of each build, really. Really? Is there a set that you like as it's associated with another interest of yours, but with a good majority of the LEGO community aren't really into? That's me with the LEGO Ideas Fossil set. Ooh, I love that question. I don't necessarily think so. I think a lot of like the sets that I like, for the most part, like, I think are like still pretty popular within like the LEGO community. Though, I feel like if there was one that I'd have to say that I like really like that I don't think many people like, Ooh. I mean, I personally really enjoyed, like, the AAT. Like, I get that there are issues with it, and I don't think that's, like, like a good enough answer for that question. But, like, I really liked the build. And, like, as someone who doesn't have an existing AAT, like, I didn't find it all that bad. Like, the cannon was long, but overall, it's still a really good set. My birthday has happened. Guys, I'm now 23. You know what that means? I'm 24 next year. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Terrifying terrifying thought oh no i can't i can't wait what direction does this have to face hold on oh like that got it fixed it fixed it fixed it we're fine we're fine i don't think morbius is gonna save lego marvel this year it's not happening she ordered or did she ordered the ucs atat -AT coming on saturday oh that sounds fun enjoy building that if I played the Lego games, I have. I love, like, some of my favorite Lego games, I mean, of course, are, like, the Harry Potter is, like, one through four and five through seven. One through four I like better. Um, I also love Lego Lord of the Rings, though I've only played that once, but I really liked the open world. Like, usually I'm not a big open world person, but Lord of the Rings had a great open world. Um, the original Batman game, I think, though, is, like, my all-time favorite. Well, these are cute. I've got hanging bats. Um, but, yeah, I love the Lego games. I still need to finish Skywalker Saga. Whoopsies. We'll get round to that. I promise. I've turned 19 this month. It's downhill from here, just a banana. It is downhill from here. Happy my leg birthday. finally healed from the motorcycle Your crash. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm glad that that tomorrow. is all healed. Take it easy though, going back to the gym. I know when I like broke my leg once, I pushed it too hard going back to dancing and it was not good. See you, Luke. Nicholas, thank you so much for the 20 US dollars. Happy birthday. Your gift is me using your affiliate link. Hell yeah. Now I can fix something I want. Thank you, Nicholas. Seriously, that is very, very kind of you. How late am I? Ricardo, you're only 23 minutes late. And a lot of that has involved me getting really excited about like capes and just random things from opening this set um, and then bashing the Hulkbuster. Which, you know, we're going to continue to do for several months until it retires. Like, I remember the other day, I can't remember, I think it was on the gaming channel. I was streaming and I'm basically, like, everyone in the chat, we're just going through the sets that we would retire. It, like, if we could decide. The Hulkbuster is one of those sets. It shouldn't even come out. <laughs> Should not even come out. How is Universal? Oh yeah, let's talk about my theme park trips. Because if there is one thing you need to know about me, is I love a good theme park. Now, first things first. I went to Universal, twice technically. Um, Universal went, did both parks on one day, and it was great. Cause like San Sinclair, they'd only been to like one of the parks before. So when I went with them, it was a lot of fun because like they had experienced a lot of stuff for the first time. I love Universal cause like to me, their rides are more, like they're better. Like I'm a thrill person, but I'm not like a big thrill person. So Universal's perfect for me. Got to go on Velocicoaster again, height. Love that ride. Um, Claire did not. She screamed a lot and I felt bad afterwards. I'm pretty sure it was just like too intense for her. Um, got to go, didn't ride, get to ride Hagrid's, which is unfortunate. Um, did Forbidden Journey. I got jump scared, which was ridiculous because like I know, I've been on that ride so many times. I know what's coming and I still got jump scared. Um, was really bad. <laughs> it was like, oh dear. Um, but it was such a fun day. Went on Hulk and I did like single rider for that. And then I like must have taken a wrong turn in the queue 
because I ended up in the regular queue and I was like, why are all these like people like, why are these groups in the single rider line? And then I got to the top and they asked me how many and I was like, one. And that's when I realized I was like, oh, um, not good. But yeah, went on that. It was like a sunset, lovely, felt a little bit shaken afterwards. Um, overall, great day. Couldn't get on the mummy though that day because it like had broken down just as I was about to go on it. Went through Diagon Alley. Then following week, went back for Halloween Horror Nights. Now, now this is where things get fun, right? So like I have like only done Universal Haunted Houses. So it was like a Walking Dead experience that they did in like 2018. It was a pop-up at Universal Hollywood. And I did that twice with my dad and it was fun. I was like, oh yeah, this is cool. Loved the costumes, loved that. I knew things couldn't touch me. I still got jump scared, but I was like, all right, okay? Now, geez, this is where like things get fun, right? Like I'm in line, having a great time. And I'm like, oh dear, we're about to go through this haunted house. Like I'm excited. First thing is like, you can see this guy, I'm like looking at him, costume, okay? And I'm like, I'm, I'm on edge. I am very tense. I am very high strung. My heart is racing. Okay, I'm walking through. I'm looking in all the dark corners. For some reason, I was forced to go first. I was being sent through first. I was on edge. I was tense. This was like some cruel joke. Anyway, now I love horror movies. Okay, I love them. Don't have any, like, I don't have any issues with, like, blood or gore or, like, scary things. Jump scares just, like, get to me, right? Like, I love that stuff. I love looking at the costumes. I love, like, the dark eeriness. But jump scares get me. And this is this is where things were fun, right? So I'm walking through. I'm looking at all the dark corners. I'm keeping a note of, like, who in front screaming. Every time someone jumped out at me, I freeze on the spot and I just shriek. I'm just like, ah! Like, like really loud screaming. Like, keep in mind. Every, like, you know what's happening, right? Like, you know, there's going to be a dark corner. Someone's going to jump out at you. It's going to continue to happen over and over again, right? Like, that's the whole thing. Like, you know what you're getting into? I did not handle well. I get out. And I'm like, I, like the whole time, I'm just like, is it over? Is it over? Like, I'm stressed because I don't know when the next jump scare is going to be. I'm like, enjoying, like, the sets, though. I'm like, this theming is cool. Like, oh, this is fun. Did not get to look at a single person's costume because I was too busy screaming. I get out and I'm like, that was fun. Went and did this other one, which was a bug themed one. That was horrible. I was grabbing onto people's shirts. I screamed in someone's ear and I felt really bad afterwards. I was like, sorry. Um, and they had like string hanging from the ceiling. So it felt like bugs were on you. And there were these dark hallways. I'm not even building right now. I'm just talking about these bug themes anyway. And like, I felt like horrible. I was like, I had to shut my eyes. I'm like holding on for dear life. There was like the giant bug costume that jumped out of me and I hated it. And then I got out and I was like, <laughs> wouldn't do that one again. Um, that one was, that was horrible. Uh, it was like awful. If you look up like Universal Orlando, like Halloween Horror Nights, it's like, I, I can't remember what it's called. It's like bugs something, bugs alive maybe. Bugs something, if you look it up. I read an article about it later so I could like look at the costumes and sets properly because I, I couldn't, I was scared out of my mind. And then we did another one, which was like a classic Universal Monster. So it was like the mummy and the werewolf. That one was fun. Again, I freeze, I shriek, I keep walking, I freeze, I shriek. And then I get out. I was like, that was fun. I would do it again. So yeah, did not handle it well, but also had a lot of fun. And then I looked at my heart rate on my Apple Watch and my heart rate got up to like 172 beats per minute. Now for reference, if I'm running on the treadmill at the gym, that's what my heart rate is. It's ridiculous <laughs> like it was it was insane but yeah definitely i would do it again it was a lot of fun ray thank you so much for the five us dollars hi holly i hope you're doing good and happy halloween no halloween not halloween what was that my watch don't get too smooth <laughs> jeez i am like i'd be fine on halloween night but that ho halloween horror nights was something else i had a fantastic time though it was so good but oh man i want to do mickey's not so scary halloween party next year i'm gonna have to because like one i want to experience it and two i'm like i need a i need a, a nice friendly halloween experience as well as the like traumatizing jump scares Hi, Holly. on the set. So Mini I Brick, congratulations good, on your Lego Ideas Polaroid project. I, my, I know everyone's pets. like, I wish it was the mystery shack. No, I kind of wish it was the Luxo lamp, but I'm excited for a Polaroid camera. I love film and I love Polaroids and all of that. I'm very excited. I want to get it to support you mostly, first and foremost. So congratulations. Everyone congratulate Mini Brick. 
I am very excited. I was like super hyped when I found out. Spruce told me, and at first I thought you just posted a new project, and then I opened up Instagram, and I was like, oh no, we got selected. So that was very exciting. Very, very exciting. Congratulations. I'm like hyped. Like I'm surprised they picked four though. I was like, geez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. It was interesting. I've been to Universal once and it was cool, but I can't handle roller coasters and all that stuff. I went on Forbidden Journey and Spider-Man and Men in Black and that was about it. Yeah, the Harry Potter stuff is great. Spider-Man's honestly one of my favorite rides there. I love it. I also love The Mummy. The Mummy is a fantastic ride. So much fun. Um, I also was always, for years, was like really scared to go on the Hollywood Rip Rocket, which is like that red roller coaster if anyone has like seen photos of Universal. Ended up going on that and I, I was like swearing at myself on the way up because I hated the look of the vertical incline. Everything else, that's, it's nothing I haven't done before, but that vertical incline spooked me. But I did it. I was running on the adrenaline from the haunted houses and I was like, look, if I've gone through all of them and I've made it out, I can do this. So I did it. So it was great. Why do they choose the Orient Express or the Polar Express? Good point. I imagine it's because they've just done Home Alone, so they don't really want an Ideas, like, Christmas set again. But that's just my idea. Ideas is under new management, and that's why we got three sets that should be at least less than $100. Good. Because, look, I'm very excited to have the Home Alone house built this year, but, man, I am tired of big sets. I'm tired of them. I want small things. Like, it's just, it's too much. I mean, I've just made a video about it, actually. Like, I was editing it this morning. It's probably going to come out next week after, like, all the Halloween stuff is over. But I'm just, I'm so sick at the big sets. And, like, you can tell that they're not doing well. Because, like, the Australian Lego stores were doing a promotion where you got triple VIP points on the Black Panther Buster Bowser and the Razor Crest. Because they're not selling. Costco is getting more Lego than ever. Why? Because it's not selling. Because it's too expensive. So, I don't know, remind me to leave in 25 minutes, I'll probably forget. Spent the last of my paycheck, just say this, why Cosmic? Keep the last of your paycheck, but thank you for the two US dollars at the same time. Oh my god, 999. Is that all Brian? Brian better say it, otherwise I'm gonna have to like, press refresh or something. Brian, come on, pull it together, man. Now's your time, do I have to say it? Okay. 999999999. Three times the point. There it is, here's Brian, come on. I spent bud. the last of my paycheck to say this. I really hope you spoke. I really can't hear anything. Right. <laughs> Three times So like our system is like it's like not the same as like VIP as you're like you're used to, but like still three times like that's bad. They were also doing um a promotion the other day where it's like if you spent I think it was like three hundred dollars of Lego. This is a cool piece. Um, you got the haunted mansion for free, which was pretty neat. Wait. Is there a sticker that I'm supposed to put on? Where's the sticker sheet? Yoo-hoo. There's a photo of a sticker and I can't see any sticker sheet. Oh, there it is. Found it. We're good. <laughs> did you see what Lego did to friends? I did. I am very excited for those hair pieces, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest. See you, Hammer. Did I get a new mug on your trip? I didn't this time. I was this close to buying the Naboo mug. I found it at Epcot. Oh, I haven't even talked about Epcot yet. Um, but they had like that new giant gift shop, like called Connections or whatever, the one around there. And they had the Naboo mugs in there and I was like, oh, I need that. And then I never bought it, which was stupid and I regret it and I'm gonna have to try and get it somehow. Cause like I have the um I have an Animal Kingdom mug which I got in February which is like a 50th anniversary one. I couldn't find a regular Epcot mug otherwise I would have got that. Though I still don't have like an Orlando mug. I should do that at some point. Should do that. A certain actor is returning to DC. Are we talking about um? Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> we talking about that one? Because I did hear about that. I have not watched Tales of the Jedi yet. So here's my current situation. Just for everyone TV wise. So that we don't spoil things for me. Um, I have... I've, I still haven't finished Rebels. I was thinking about that the other day. I was like I need to get back on that. Haven't finished Rebels yet. Um, and or I'm an episode behind. I still have as well the last 10 minutes of the episode before that. I watched it on the plane back. Um, but... For the rest of the time on the plane, I watched Better Call Saul. I've started that. 
I haven't watched Breaking Bad, so I don't know why I'm watching this. Um, I also watched the Jeffrey Dahmer show, which I know people are like quite controversial about. Um, I love Ryan Murphy and Evan Peters, so I really wanted to watch it. Personally, I really enjoyed it. Um, learned a lot about like all of his like victims and all of that, which I appreciated because like that I didn't know anything. Like I'm Australian, we don't really know about like all of that. So I watched all of that, which was great. Haven't watched Tales of the Jedi yet because it came out while I was in the air, so I couldn't download it. <laughs> Um, so I need to sit and watch all of that. I'm also behind on my favorite Australian show, Gogglebox. Um, but like everything else, I'm pretty sure I'm up to date. I finished She-Hulk. The finale was weird. Like, I like what they're doing with like Daredevil and like bringing him in. Like I thought it, overall I liked it. Like it was fun. It was down to earth. It's what I want more from Marvel. So I was really excited about that. Overall enjoyed it. But yeah, I just need to, need to sit down. Yeah, I've heard that Tales takes an hour. I'm hoping to like watch it all tonight or at least like watch half of the episodes because here's the thing. Breaking Bad isn't on Netflix in Australia. Not Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. So I can't turn my iPad off um, airplane mode. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to have to sign up for another subscription service. So I want to try and watch as many of the downloaded episodes as I can <laughs> so I can catch up. I am really enjoying it. I just don't like the side storyline of the, the other guy. He was in something else. He's in, like, Community, and he was, like, in The Incredibles or whatever. Also, um, Jimmy, Saul, was also in The Incredibles and was the dad in Little Women. I had no idea. I was, like, really excited for that. Um, so I do want to finish them. So, like, that's, like, my uh, priority. Rings of Power, I have, like, watched, like, the first 20 minutes of the first episode. I need to go and watch it. Like, I really want to go and watch it. I just have not gotten around to it, which is really bad. But I will get there. I did think about that, Frank. I've thought about that before. Or even doing like a like a not my arms, like a vintage, vintage YouTube content there type of thing. But I don't know how I would do that. <laughs> I'd need someone to do it with me. And every mug was $80 on eBay. Ew. Ew. Hi shy. Souls of your character. See, like, I don't want to like go into it too much in case someone hasn't watched it and like doesn't want spoilers or anything. But like currently I'm up to like halfway through season three. Firstly, I love how the show flows. I think it's fantastic. Secondly, I'm excited for Breaking Bad now because I'm like, oh, this is fun. Um, but I'm really, I, I, I know it's going to get answered for me at some point, but I'm just like, why is he called Jimmy McGill and not Saul Goodman? What on earth is going on? Because <laughs> like I've seen like clips from like TikTok and all that where it's like, you know, you have rights. Constitution says you do. And it's like one of his ads or something. So like, I'm excited to figure that out. Mike is the coolest old man. He is. You know what was really funny was there was like the guy who was like briefly in it for like a bit in season two who was like selling like the prescription drugs and then bought the, the Hummer. I liked him. He was funny. And then he stopped showing up and I was like, damn it. <laughs> See, I should have watched Breaking Bad beforehand, but I didn't. And now I'm like, damn it. <laughs> it's, it's weird. But I have finished Stranger Things. I love that. Love that show. I mean, look at the sales of the Fab Five. Quest just quit where I sat. And everything is awesome. There's a reason they all go on sale. I mean, personally, like, everyone is awesome, I think, did, like, all right. I never really saw it on sale too much. Like, I just thought the concept was cool as a cool set. But Queer Eye, unfortunately, did not have that same appeal. And, like, it's off a of property that just, like, isn't popular anymore. The set itself had a lot of cool pieces. And it's 40% off, and I'm tempted to get it. Because, like, I want the torsos. I want the bricks. Like, it just feels like it's a fun time. Like, I'm really excited to see what, like, Friends, like, how Friends does. I like how they, like, made one of them, like, Mia's daughter or something. Like, I think that's really cute. But I'm also, like, I was reading through some of the descriptions and it was like, yeah, this person will let you copy their homework. This person has three million followers on Instagram. And, like, a couple of other things. I was like, why are we promoting cheating on your homework to children? I was like, um. Yeah, afternoon for me, Aaron. And hello, how are you going? I've seen Breaking Bad, but not Better Call Saul. I recommend Better Call Saul. It's fantastic. Yeah, should I get the queer I said? It's like, it's like a hundred bucks for me. I'm like, I want it. I want the pieces. I want to part it out. I'm like, I want to get it added to my piece, collect, piece collection. Plus there's like one of the torsos that I feel like would be really good for a sig fig of Ross. It's like one of like the button up t-shirts I want to use it for. Oh my gosh, Marco, 5 a.m. Oh my gosh, go, yes, please go to sleep. <laughs> I will be doing a review on this set. I want to hopefully put it up this weekend for Halloween. So absolutely will. Keep an eye out for that. Very excited for it. I want to like take some like spooky like clips of it, but I don't know how I'm going to do that. 
We'll see. We'll see. I'll be able to do it. Has 105 light bluish gray masonry bricks and 85 white. Hmm. Well, maybe I should place an order then. <laughs> Although the annoying thing is, right, like, it's too low for me to get three ship free shipping. So I should probably buy another set, <laughs> unfortunately. Damn it, I want it. I want it now. Now that I know how many masonry bricks are in it, like, I've been, I'm sold. This is the problem, right? Okay, it's at the time of year, right, where I've, like, there's no sets that I want anymore. I say that. We're about to get to my point. But, like, there's no, like, new sets coming out that I want. I'm not buying the Eiffel Tower. I'm for no- there's no way in hell I'm buying the new Hulkbuster. So, you know what I've done? I've gone out and bought an Elvis art set. You know what I've done? What did I buy? I bought- the, I, even though I hate Lego advent calendars these days, you know what I bought? I bought the Star Wars advent calendar yesterday. You want to see it? It's right here. Why? Because I got it for $44 and these guys are like 15 Australian each. Save me money. This is what happens. Nothing comes out and then I just start buying random sets because I'm like, I want to buy Lego and I have nothing to buy. But like, it's a good point at the same time because like, now that I've organized my parts collection, like, I want to do a, um, I want to do an Endor mock. So like, I need parts, even though masonry bricks aren't going to help me with Endor at all. <laughs> I feel like it would still be a good thing. Good night, Nicholas. I hope you have a great sleep and have fun at school tomorrow. I did watch the Harry Potter reunion. I remember I did a watch party or something on um, New Year's Eve when it came out. And like, I just, I saw so many people like reposting that, like that one clip of him, how like Hagrid will always be there. And I wanted to bore my eyes out. Like, I, I wish I went, like I could have gone pretty easily, but I, I guess I just didn't think about it. Um, I wish I went to Universal like the day after because apparently they did like a really nice like one tribute or like light thing on the castle and then people would put like the Universal stuff put out flowers out like front of the um, Hagrid animatronic which was so cute like I loved it it was like adorable like uh, that one really hit me hard like I, I like walked down and someone like Robbie called like Hagrid passed away and I was like what? Like, I, I just froze. Like, it's getting to the point now where there's, like, more and more, like, actors or, I guess, just, like, celebrities that I knew or, like, had watched or things like that that I just, like, recognize. And, like, it just, it hits so different now. It's, it's scary. It is scary. Lily, it was great. It was warm. It was lovely. I didn't get a tan, but, you know, you know, I can't win all the time, but... Yeah, had a fantastic time. The minimum skin spend for me in Australia is 150 bucks. It's so annoying. So like I used like my VIP points right to get the Winter Village set. But if I did that, I wouldn't get free shipping. So you know what I did? I ordered some like tiny kittens and squirrels because they had like really similar bricks and pieces as well as the Haunted Mansion, which I want to build this weekend for Halloween. So it was great. I love the little kittens. I want to get the um piglets when they come out on bricks and pieces, but I'm scared they're going to be like five bucks each. So I'm worried. Yeah, it's not fair that like ours is like 150. It's so annoying because it's like US, oh yeah, just spend 30 bucks. That's easy to do. Can't even buy the Queer Eye set and get free shipping. Like, are you serious? And then because our Lego stores don't sync up with like Lego online, it's not like I can go in store and buy it. Oh, first world problems at my max. I did just a banana. Wait, why is it the forbidden stage? <laughs> what? What, what, what? Wait, the voice actor for Samukai passed away? Oh my gosh. Jeez, I remember that guy. Samukai was such a great character as well from Ninjago. I loved him. He was fantastic. 35, that makes no sense. Yeah, that's not fair. Like, it would make Like, if it was 100, right? Like, okay. Now, I know, like, Lego is expensive and everything, but, like, Having to get to 150 every single time. Like, why, again, why would I buy from Lego? And, like, firstly, I have to pay more because it's full price if I order from Lego. Secondly, my three fresh out, like, why would I not buy from somewhere else? Like, Lego at that point is practically asking me not to buy from them. This must be, no, that can't be the set bag I need. Is it this one? Yeah, this is the additional bag. Okay. Yeah, Summer Pro is so expensive. I lost mine. 
which was really annoying because I went to go and rebuy him and I realized he was 40 bucks. I was like, ha, never mind. Never mind. Florida man. Oh, yeah. Um, you know what I did? <laughs> I did see some weird things in Florida. It was strange. Though, for the most part, it's like, as long as you're around Disney area, fine. But, like, also, scary times. Oh, I've got the wrong piece there. There we go. There we go. For this set reveal, or just this set in general, I only got this recently. <laughs> There are so many sets that I've been sitting on for like longer periods of time, I guess, than this one. And then I just like knock in front. Most of the time I do answer Instagram DMs. I don't like accept anyone on Discord, just it's easier for me. But like I'll definitely go and read through everything on Instagram, though sometimes I don't get, like I don't manage to get to reply to everyone. So please keep that in mind. But I always try, always try to. Ugh. You're what, Lily? I've zoned out. I completely forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, Samukai. No, I don't need him. I was just going to do it because I was going to sell Garmadon's Fortress. And I was like, well, I want to have the set complete. So I looked it up and then I was like, heh, never mind. Never ended up selling the set. In fact, I don't even know where it is. I just know I still got it. I was just given six free shipping tickets from the manager. Nice. <laughs> Wait, how'd you get them from them? That's sick. No, but thank you, Aaron. I appreciate it. But yeah, it's all good. Like, I I honestly don't buy from LEGO that much anymore. Like, it's just not worth it for me. Like, the Winter Village set made sense, right? Because, like, it's probably one of the only places I can get it from. So, yeah, I'll order that from there. Which is why I use my VIP points. Um, but it's just, like, it's no point. Like, our LEGO stores get better stock than LEGO Online does. Which is ridiculous. Because they get their stock from the same place that's selling the LEGO Online. So I'm like, how come we have clone packs in store and you don't, like, bit weird. But manager just handed them to me. Lucky. Lego store staff are the best. <laughs> I, at least I've had, like, really great experience with them. I know that, like, everyone's not going to have the same experience. Or maybe someone's going to have, have an off day or whatever. But I've always had, like, great encounters and just great experiences. It's been good. Thoughts on the Ant-Man and Guardians trailer? Honestly, like, I heard a lot of people raving about Ant-Man, and at first I was like, oh, like, this looks fun, like, had the same vibes as, like, all of the other Ant-Man movies, and then I was, like, starkly reminded that it's not gonna be like any of the other Ant-Man movies, and I was like, oh. And then, like, I know that, like, the, like, the CGI didn't look good, and I was like, like, we know that we're gonna be spending a lot of time in the Quantum Realm, guys, like, why aren't we spending the money to get good CGI for this? I can't get this thing on. So, it's just... I was like, I don't know. I'm excited for it. Like, I'm excited to see Kang. I love Ant-Man. I love Paul Rudd. So, I'm, I'm hyped for that. But I'm also just like... Like, my expectations are low. And then the Guardians trailer, again, I was excited for. And then it just sort of kept going. And I was like... I don't know, like, I love Guardians, I love James Gunn's Guardians, I think it's fantastic, like, I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good, but, like, again, I was, like, I'm not, like, hyped for it, like, I think, I'm excited for Ant-Man, just because it's Ant-Man, and honestly, I completely forgot that, like, Black Panther was coming out this month, <laughs> just because, like, I think I'm just so tired at this point, like, I, like, I don't have any tickets to go and see Black Panther, I don't know when I'm gonna go and see Black Panther, I don't know even know if I will, I, like, just because of how quickly Disney Plus, like, spits them out. I'm like, well, what's the point in me going to go and see it at the movie theater when, like, I'm not overly, like, hyped and keen for it? Like, I don't know. And, like, I haven't seen Black Adam either. Like, I, it's honestly, like, I can't even accept the fact that that movie actually came out because of how long they've talked about it for. <laughs> and again, I don't know when I'm going to go see it or even if I will. Like, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm just out. Like, it's not, I feel like I'm just tired from it. Like, I'm so tired. Okay, I'm glad that, like, people are agreeing with me. You go to avoid spoilers. But that's the thing, like, have there even been any spoilers in the movies recently? Like, Thor didn't really have any. Like, all too major. Like, if, you, if someone spoiled the ending for me for Thor Love and Thunder, like, I don't think I would have cared that much. Like, I love the theatre too, but I'm just like, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm just out of it right now. I'm just, I'm out. 
Like, Ant-Man and the Wasp, I'll definitely go and see. But, and Guardians 3, like, I'll go see that. And, like, I'm, I'm definitely going to sit down and watch the Christmas special. But just, like, I don't know. I'm just going to the theatre to go and see Black Adam and Black Panther. Like, it's just... I don't know. Like, I'm just tired. And, like, every time... Like, I was excited for Thor, and then Thor let me down. So I think I'm just hesitant at this part. Like, at this point. I'm just like, I don't know what to say. The Rock was saying the spoilers. <laughs> classic. Classic, classic, classic. Only thing I'm hyped for is Spider-Man 2. Oh, yeah. I'm... Actually, that's a good point. Spider-Man 2 game hyped for um into the spider-verse not that i know when on earth that is ever going to be coming out <laughs> at this point i know it got delayed or whatever but i can't remember like i can't even keep track of the um the release dates anymore you may have a youtuber oh thank you sean thank you thank you even though i haven't been uploading recently sorry <laughs> i just have not had time and then i also sort of lost motivation for a bit because i i had like all of these like video ideas and then all of them were going to take me long time to edit and then I got overwhelmed at that thought, and then I was just like, okay, guess we're not doing anything. <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. The rock annoys me. <laughs> Though I, like, I think he's alright. I don't know, I don't really have any strong opinions on The Rock. <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I've got nothing. I've got nothing. Mario movie, though. I mean, the trailer looked great. I was watching it in line for Forbidden Journey. <laughs> so, like, couldn't really hear properly. But, like, it looks really pretty. Like, Jack Black, I think, I'm really excited for. But just Chris Pratt. Me you know what's funny? I haven't even gotten to talking about Epcot yet. Um, but this will sort of flow into this, right? So, I'm at Epcot. And I'm, I'm in line for Guardians. And then it hits me. I'm like, Chris Pratt is in every major Orlando theme park. Or at least, like, company theme park, right? Because he's in Jurassic World. Velocicoaster Q. He was Emmett in the Lego movie. And the Lego movie has a ride in Legoland, Florida. And then, of course, he's Star-Lord. And he was in, like, the pre-show of the Guardians ride. Just Chris Pratt has really, really overtaken everything. Oh, man, I love Obi-Wan Starfighter. The Rock's eyebrow raise. Oh, I do. That is really funny. I do like that. Have to admit there. Next would be Star Wars, probably, at this point. Who, like, voiced some sort of, like, droid or whatever. <laughs> I also can't get over the fact that, like, Bryce Dallas Howard f voices Yaddle. Like, I know I haven't watched the episodes yet. But, like, just that concept sounds funny to me. <laughs> Again, he's in everything. And he was in Lego Masters. That's true. I forgot about that. How is- is the year West Lego Masters still going? I feel like it's been an eternity that that, um, season has been on. <laughs> let's not- okay, guys, let's stop talking about Chris Pratt in the- in Star Wars, because if we do, it's gonna happen. The best part is that Yaddle just talks normal. Then what on earth happened to Yoda? <laughs> what happened? Was he just, like, not raised in a- in a, um, in a- a household with quality education or something. <laughs> why does he? Why is he illiterate? Still got play. Got delayed. Oh, boring. Well, like, what? How is? Like, is anyone actually like interested in it though? <laughs> if it's been delayed, then like, like surely no one actually cares. <laughs> We're manifesting it by thinking about it. Exactly. So let's not think about it. <laughs> and then he won't happen. Yoda got bonked in his head really hard. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to air back in May. No wonder it feels like an eternity. Like, I remember seeing the trailer and being like, oh, cool. Brick and Nick's in it. I've seen him before. And then I just feel like it never aired. <laughs> I was like, um, okay. Okay. And then, like, Dom and, like, one of the other TikTokers are now on it as well. I just feel like no one cares about this show. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited for Australian LEGO Masters, but, like... US Lego Masters, I'd never care for. And the funniest thing, right, is like going to Brickwood, Chicago and everyone's like, oh yeah, like here's the Lego Masters table or like this is a Lego Masters build. I don't know who any of these people are. I'm just like, oh yeah, I liked that build. And people are like, that was one of the Lego Masters. I'm like, yeah, that means nothing to me. Like, I don't know who these people are. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Are there any movies that aren't big franchise blockbusters you watched this year? Any recommendations? I want to watch Bullet Train. I haven't watched that. Um, I don't think I've... I haven't seen too many movies, to be honest. I want to watch Don't Worry Darling, despite all of the, like, 
I guess just drama there is about it. Um, but I can't really think of any. Like, the, I've mostly just gone to go see Marvel movies for the most part, which I know it's bad of me. I also just feel like there hasn't been too many movies out this year. Like, I, what else did I watch? Oh, I've watched a couple of, like, cheesy Netflix movies. <laughs> that was good. If anyone wants a cheesy, cheesy Netflix movie, may I recommend Do Revenge, starring Camila Mendez and Maya Hawke, Sarah Michelle Gellar, and a couple of other people from a couple of other shows you've probably seen. <laughs> so, highly recommend. Highly recommend. Guys, I haven't watched Tales of the Jedi yet, okay? I'm gonna get around to it. Yeah, Connor though. Connor, yes I have listened to Taylor Swift's new album. And the best part was, right, like the whole thing is like, meet me at midnight. And usually, when Taylor Swift releases an album, it's like 3pm in the afternoon for me. <laughs> so like, I distinctly remember last year, right? Red Taylor's version comes out and I'm just like, I wanna hear, I wanna hear this. I wanna enjoy this. And it's 3 p.m. in the afternoon and I'm listening to like 10 minutes of All Too Well. I'm like, this is not a 3 p.m. in the afternoon song. I finished my Hogwarts Clock Tower and Astronomy Tower mark. I'm going to post pics in the members Discord page soon. Ooh, keen. I'm excited to see them. Um, but yeah, Midnight's, like I like it, but like it's also like I get people are like, yeah, it's like very like millennial cheesy Taylor Swift. There's a couple of really good songs though. I really like Lavender Haze. I think that's one, one of my favorites. Um, Karma just puts me in a good mood. Like, it's such a, like, hype song. Um, Bejeweled is also, like, pretty neat. And I really like that, like, one guy who, like, used to do the impersonations of, like, that one scene in Euphoria. And he's just got this really, like, basic TikTok dance. And he goes, like, shimmer. I like that, too. Um, what else do I like? Snow on the Beach is a terrible song. I'm not a big fan of that. Mastermind also is really good. And... I can't remember. But anyway, it's, like, midnight. I've got my noise-canceling over-ear headphones on. I'm just listening to Taylor Swift, and then I'm listening to it again the other day, like the next day, and I'm crying, and then I'm listening to other Taylor Swift songs that make me cry, and I was just like, I was gonna having a good time. Guys, top, my favorite, this is take, uh, this is 500 piece set, it's taken me an hour and I'm not done. Anyway, I get so distracted. Guys, as we all know, um, especially after last year, <laughs> I cry. I'm a, I'm a crier, okay? I cry a lot more than I ever used to. Don't know why. Yes, I just have a lot of emotions built up in me. And these days, I know it's better to let them out. I always used to keep everything in, right? So, if you're ever in need of a good cry, because we all know a good cry is good for you. Top three places to cry. Number one is an airplane. But specifically, if it's like an overnight flight, which I do a lot because I live in Australia. A lot of my flights... It, like lights go dark and they're trying to make everyone sleep so like when it's in when it's that time and like everyone's asleep and you're just like awake you put on some sad songs on your earphones and you, you lean you look out the airplane window and it's just dark there's nothing there and you just cry on an airplane it's so therapeutic second place the shower the sh a good shower cry never hurt anyone it's fantastic it's great the water just washes away and then you get out the shower and like because you've been in the shower and like the water was warm and you're like wet your face isn't like super red so it doesn't look like you've been crying then third place is in of course in bed before you go to sleep there you go it's great crying is so good if you just have a lot of emotions you're feeling stressed like you're worried about something and like i'm an overthinker as well like i'm an anxious person so letting all of that out with a good cry, man, nothing quite like it. Nothing quite like it. I need to find better ways, but <laughs> it sounds depressing. It is a little bit, but like you feel good afterwards. Like it's better to let it out. Better out than in, as they they always say, don't watch Mojo's 10 places to cry. Yes, exactly. Let it out. Like if you're stressed, if you're like worried, let it out. Let it out. Or... Write it down and journal. I know it's cheesy, but man, it can help. And Taylor Swift's songs, they're good for crying. Uh, I mean, the song Cardigan. Um, one of my favorites is Right Where You Left Me. It's not really a quiet, like a crying song, but it's just like an emotional song. It was good. It's good. Highly recommend. To go home from an HSC exam. Oh, which one? Which one? And also, how, have, how are you going with your HSC exams? 
Good time. Oh, yeah, that was the thing. So, going back to the, my red Taylor Swift rat. So, I was, like, helping out. I was, like, supervising some HSC exams, and I was, like, helping that out. So, we're literally, like, putting all of these students' test papers away while listening to, like, read Taylor's version. It was great. So, listening to Taylor Swift at midnight, and then I go on Twitter, and it's, like, just past 3 a.m., and everyone's, like, oh, my gosh, there's a 3 a.m. edition, and I'm, like, frantically trying to find the, like, extra songs on Spotify, and then I find out that Target has an exclusive version, and then I looked in Target for that exclusive version, and I was like, there's no way I'm buying this. Can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> Can't do it. Um, but let's talk about something exciting and less depressing. Epcot. Now, Epcot is probably one of my least favourite Disney parks, honestly. Um, I'm a ride person, and Epcot doesn't have that many good rides. Especially not many thrilling ones. I mean, Ratatouille, like, I went online in Paris, so I knew that that was good. And then, what have you got? Mission Space? Horrible. Atrocious. Spaceship Earth? It's old. And it stinks in there. Um, what else? Test Track? Look, when I went on it in March, it's not as good as I remember. It's still fun, but, like, it's not great. It's no Radiator Springs races, okay? So, why would I go to Epcot, you ask? Well, we were looking at Disney Days, and we were like, oh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Oh, it's sold out. Never mind. Oh, we, okay, we, like, we've been to Animal Kingdom recently, we've been to Hollywood Studios, I could go there, could just go to Magic Kingdom, oh no, most of those days are booked out. Hey, hold on, Holly, use your brain for a second here. What just opened at Epcot? Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Mmm, oh, there's a food festival on as well, well, sign me up for a day. Literally, the whole reason I went was to ride Cosmic Rewind, and then I was like, cool, let's just eat around the world. Like, I just want to eat eat and look around. So, because I'd been earlier this year, my expectations were like, like I didn't care too much about the rides, so it was a lot more enjoyable. So I woke up, 7am, got my boarding group. Perfect. It says like return time, like 5pm or something. Easy. Nice. I was like, sick. Got it sorted. Ate some food. So the dumplings at the china stall were fantastic. I loved them. Got to like really look around Epcot and go inside like I guess like all of the little like um country areas which is really cool. Just like really go and explore which is something that I feel like I haven't really done at Epcot all too much. So it was nice to be able to go and do that for once. Um and then Cosmic Rewind time. Oh Mini Fizz Ember. I saw her in the Red Tour in like what, 2012 or something. It was great. It was great. Okay, so, Epcot. Let's talk Cosmic Rewind. For anyone who doesn't want Cosmic Rewind spoilers for any reason, if you're a big theme park fan, um, just mute me for, like, five minutes and then come back later. Alright, so Cosmic Rewind. I'm hyped. I've seen, like, I knew that this ride was a roller coaster and that the cars spun to, like, look at screens and then the music played. And I'd seen a little bit of the track from, like, their previews on, like, Instagram, like, several months ago. But I still had no idea what to expect. I was like, what am I walking into here? Like, I know that people have said, oh, they might get, like, motion sickness. And it's, like, the most thrilling Disney ride. So I was like, hype. Because, like, it's not going to be a super thrilling ride. I mean, it's Disney after all. But, like, it could be fun. So our, our boarding group, yeah, it's called. I'm like, hype. Looking at the giant thing. I'm like, that, like, stand on that ship looks stupid. Anyway, I keep going. I'm like, ooh, this looks cool. Giant stars on the ceiling. Wow. Tons of screens. I'm like looking around. There's like scale models of like the Milano and the Benetton. I'm like, oh, this is cool. And I'm like walking around. I'm having a good time. Hey, Super, by the way. Um, and there was like a couple of like pre-show rooms. And then like we got stuck in one because I guess there was some sort of delay. Go into this other pre-show room, which had like a lot of really cool effects. I'm not going to spoil it too much, but it was like really cool room. Um... And then you go to line up on the ride, and I'm like, sick. All right, sit down. Parts that I've seen where it's just like you sort of go through this like weird room with just like a screen, and then you start to go up, and the music music kicks in. Now we've got oh, Velocicoaster is fantastic. We go on. Our song, one way or another, bang up, bang up. Because my one complaint was that the music from like Cosmic Rewind didn't feel very Guardiansy, like it felt more like 70s disco to me. But that song was good. 
And then I'm on this thing, and we're like, we're getting spun around. We're going relatively fast. There's a lot of dips. The cars are spinning. You're like looking at the screens. You're going through the story with like the celestials and all of that. And the best way I can describe it is like a modern space mountain. Like it was so much fun. Like you're going around. It's like it's pretty thrilling, but it's also fun. And you're seeing all these cool effects, and you're just getting spun around. And it was an absolute blast. I loved it. Would have gone on it again if I could, but I couldn't because you had to get a boarding group, which sucks. Good night, Jared. They did not rickroll me. Uh, that would have been funny if, like, that was one of the song options, though. That would be, I would really like that. But yeah, very, very good time. And then after I'd done that, I was like, sick. Managed to get on, um, Romy's Ratatouille Adventure as well, which was great. Didn't get stuck this time. Hype. Um, and then saw, like, a bit of, like, the Harmonious show, which a couple of days ago lit on fire, so that was fun. Um, that was pretty neat, but, like, overall, great day at Epcot. We then lost the car, um, and had to walk around the car park for, like, ten minutes trying to find it, so. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, Chayden. Like, I mean, Elton John, in general, just feels more Guardians-y, I guess. Plant Man. <laughs> Is that your new nickname? Oddish? That's what you're going to call yourself. I've still got one bag to go. Oh my gosh, I am taking so long to do this. I wanted to film a video today as well. I mean, it's not like it's a long video to do, luckily. But it's also getting too hot for me to actually, like, film it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Should have checked the dark forest. Yeah, probably. It's gonna be stuck in a tree somewhere. There it is. There it is. But yeah, overall, had a fantastic time on my trip. Um, really enjoyed myself. Lots of fun. Great to see my friends. Won't see them until next year now, but that's okay. Had a great time. Also got Claire's new stickers, so I have the gunship sticker now. Hype. Oh, also got to go to the container store. Man, not that many people are going to care about my experience at the container store, but I had a fantastic time. I have never seen so many useless storage solutions. And then there was like good, useful storage solutions. And overall, it was just a fantastic time. I loved it. I've never seen a store like that. They just don't exist here. It was a fun time. I'm going to Disney World next year and I'm going to all the parks over 10 days. I'm so excited for going to Galaxy's Edge. Galaxy's Edge is fun. It's very, it just looks really, really cool. It's a fun place to go and walk around. Like, that's where I got a lot of my enjoyment. Oh my gosh, you're telling me I have to, oh no, they're two separate stickers. Hallelujah. I thought I was going to have to stick somewhere over. That place is dangerous. It is. Container Storm Blog went. I so should have. It was so cool. I'm like looking at these solutions and I'm like, oh my gosh. And there's like the ones with like the tiny drawers for like pieces. And then there was like the actual Lego storage things. And then there was like wardrobe storage and shoe storage. And just like I'm thinking about like all of like the little parts dividers that I could have. And like containers. Oh my gosh. I was having such a fun time. And also that sort of I guess rolls into my other thing. Thank you all so much for the love on my room tour. I really enjoyed that video. I'm really proud of it. I thought it was, um, I thought it turned out really good. And I'm also just very proud of like how my room's looking right now. And then I'm like going through the container store and I was just like losing my mind. I was like planning so much stuff. I was like future planning, like everything. And then I'm just like, why am I doing this to myself? Cause I know that like, I'm not going to be able to do anything. <laughs> what are some of your basic favorite basic Halloween costumes? Vector. Vector from Despicable Me, number one. I also really enjoyed that video. Yay! Thank you. I really enjoyed it. I like, I love like room and like organization things. Like I really want to do more of that. Like whenever I guess like I reorganize something or I update something. Cause like I love talking about that stuff. And like, here's the thing. In Lego, you, we all have too much stuff. We all buy too much stuff for the most part. Okay. And having a lot of Lego on a shelf looks ugly. I'm sorry, straight up. If you overcrowd your Lego shelves, it can look chaotic. It can look bad, right? We want to have a nice stylish collection. You've got to style your shelves. You've got you to put effort into it. You've got Everything has to be intentional. Okay, the less you can do, the better. Okay, that is my piece of advice. If you are like organizing your Lego on your shelves, don't overcrowd them. Okay? Don't overdo it. If you overdo it, screwed. Also, put minifigures, like create a scene, put the minifigures into the build. 
especially if there's like duplicates like I love having like duplicates of Star Wars figures so that I can have like someone in the ship and then I can have them in like a different section of my build so like I want to get a second Bespin Luke so that when I put my Bespin Jewel back up I can have Vader and Luke in the scene but I can also have Bespin Luke with all of my other Empire Strikes Back minifigures does that make sense so yeah do a nice oh Cosmic good luck with all of your with all of your schoolwork and assignments and all that best of luck no need to call me out like that. I have to, guys. We want 2023. We want nice styled Lego collections. You'd hate my shelves. No, pen. We can't have everything too crowded. The place, though, plate. We like placement. We want deliberate, deliberate placement. Because, like, I just looked at my shelves and I was like, I hate it. I hate it. it took me three weeks. Three weeks to redo my room. I mean, it was a two part series, really. There was the first part where I, like, went through the process of redoing it and then there was the full room tour which i liked overall very fun very proud of myself but really my part storage guys i there is nothing better than the alex drawers and i know that like not everyone can get the alex drawers for lego storage but man if you can who and like i just bought one of the, like the um like return ones sometimes the drawers get a bit stuck don't get me wrong but i also know that like i'm like probably going to be moving out like in a couple years like realistically that's gonna happen so I didn't want to like put money into a brand new one it's pretty like you mean Chayden do you mean accessible as in like how do you access the set or do you mean accessible as in how do you get the case <laughs> two different options here so double checking which one it is okay they lied to me about how I built this that reminds me, I should set up my Lego display soon because I haven't since I moved. Oh, that's always fun. That's always fun. Honestly, like redoing your display, there's nothing more fun. It's just really satisfying, like seeing everything come together. You definitely hate Duckbrook's display. I've seen like photos of his before. Like there are parts that I love and then there are parts that I'm just like, this is messy. This is chaotic. Can't do it. Cannot do it. Like I love just like the nice simple stuff because like you don't want everything to be too crowded and that's the problem is the more logo you have the harder it is to display it's messy it's messy what was your favorite outdoor play game at school i i hated tag because i hated running <laughs> could not stand it i hated it um there was a couple there was an, like on a str i don't know if it's like a like really known one but there's this game in Australia called like 44 home safe which like did involve some sort of running but not as much running I did love that game that one was really fun Dark Twist displays absolute chaos I can't see that's the thing that's this guys leading on to my next point this is why we get rid of our boxes and our instruction manuals and sets that we don't need or care about anymore it is okay to say goodbye to things in your collection you do not need everything all the time okay piece of life advice like I have a lot of sets that are just like in my storage unit because right now I'm like I don't have space to display them all like and even if I had like an entire room to do it like I would probably like still like not have everything out all the time so I don't know Brixie might be one of the only ones who can display a lot of Lego pretty well you want to know why because he has a lot of shelf space and I love the way he's done shelf that's my dream is to have just a wall of shelves that's what I want. That's what I'm working towards. Man, that is my goal in life. Is I want a room, I want a wall full of Lego shelves and everything is going to be neatly styled. I'm going to have lights in the middle of all of them. Man, I want to I want to light all of my sets on that shelf up, all of them at one point. Somehow, someday. Oh, also, I finally not that I, you can really see it, but I've got finally got all the pieces for my Hobbit house. It's all done. Yay. I did it. 44 home says, how does it work? So there's like, I guess like base, which is where you've got to get to. And it's like sort of hide and seek, but then it's like, it's hide and seek mixed with tab. So if someone finds you, you have to run basically to get home so that you're safe from, and like you haven't lost basically. So it's like hide and seek mixed with tag. It's great. 10 out of 10. As a kid, I felt sentimental about throwing away my baby teeth. I was supposed to get rid of my sets. No, I was that person too. Which is like, I look back and I'm like, that's just creepy. But now I'm also like, mm, no, makes sense. Makes sense. This set has like so many little different sections to it. It's like pretty neat. Did I forget to put some skeleton legs somewhere? Oh dear. 
No, I, don't, I think I'm fine. I guess it's just so you can alternate the skeleton there. There we go. Love David Hall's display. I love the way that those shelves look in his room. Like, personally, I don't think I could do those shelves. Like, I don't like the wooded tones of that particular, like, wood. Like, the Ikea one. But I love the way that, like, it looks in his room. And even his old room. It looks beautiful. Hold on. Mm. There we go. Got it. Good. Oh my gosh, capture the flag. Somewhat like that. I guess, is that the same game, maybe? I don't know. It was good. So our games that we had at like school, oopsies, of course you had like tag and hide and seek and things like that. But like I think 44 Homesafe was really like the only other like game that there was that people would play. Um, but then we also have like, I guess like PE games where there was this game called like, at least in my high school, we had like ultimate Frisbee was a thing. Um, and there was also... What was the other one? There's like touch footy is a thing. Which I don't even know how to begin to display. Um, explain. You have like a waistband with like a tag on it. And you would run with a ball. <laughs> I want to say it's like a mix of NFL. But also it's not at the same time. Stuck in the mud. Yes. I, I do remember that now that you've said that. Ikea shelves are a lot of money. The white ones are cheaper than black. I'll tell you that right now. And that's another reason why I sort of regret getting my black ones. <laughs> But also it looks pretty at night, so I can't get too mad at my black shelf. But I also can, if that makes any sense. Oh, trampolines are fun. Red Rover crossover, I have never heard of that game in my life. Oh yeah, Cops and Robbers, yeah, we had that. I liked that game overall, again, because there was less running. The less running in a running game that was involved, <laughs> the more I liked it. I just, I've never enjoyed running until recently. And even then, I'm like, I couldn't run forever. I don't ever want to do a marathon. I don't want to be a runner. I'm just, no, I'm not doing it. I don't even want to do a Disney marathon. Like, eh, not happening. Yeah, there's always the try harder. I don't, we're not talking about the beep test. The beep test can die in a hole. I hated it. Hated it with a burning passion. I got out of it once though, because I hadn't a broken foot at the time. So I didn't have to do it. It was great. I was always, I was always a robber, because it meant less running. <laughs> flag footy is flag football, which is American football, but a rip off flags around your waist rather than tackling each other. Yeah, see, we, I think it must have been similar to touch footy, because like we had tags around your waist. And again, you have like a, a footy ball, but there's like no kicking. And I know that like American football has kicking. I learned, I, I finally understood how that game works. <laughs> it took me a very long time, but I've, I've got it now for the most part. The part that always confused me was like the whole down thing. And it was like, like first, first down or whatever. Cause I always compared it to like, a, like rugby. And I was like, why is it resetting? Why are we going back to first? And then I was like, oh, it's now I've understood that it's because you crossed over 10 yards. I still don't get how like you can, the whole thing about how you can go for like two points or you can go for one point. I don't get how that works. I don't get what that means. But the fundamentals of the game, I now understand. Also, shout out to Rod, who is, I can't remember what team it is, but it's the Arizona team who has recently been kicking for them. Congrats to Rod. Very happy for him. Downs are so fun. It's like, it's strange. Like, I just, I don't know, <laughs> like, what it was. What was the point of the beep test? I guess to test our cardio fitness, but like, why is that of any interest to school? Like, weird, right? Like, why do they care? I can't get this bar piece to go through. Arizona Cardinals, that's it. That's it. I don't, it's not like a permanent position, but he's been kicking for them recently. So good for him. I'm very happy. He, he deserves it. I was like watching like a clip of it the other day. Unfortunately, it was one of the kicks he missed and I was like, oh, oh dear. I can't. There we go. Plus the glass doors keep things dust free. Mm -hmm. Or at least mostly dust free. Which I'll take mostly. If I only have to dust a shelf like once a year, man, I will take that over dusting all the time. <laughs> That's what sucks about everywhere else in my room is that there's just dust everywhere. The Disney castle is the worst culprit. 
like part of me, you know, like we all know how I like rotate my sets around. Like part of me is even like, maybe it's the Disney castle's turn to, to disappear. I guess it all depends on like what new sets coming out. Which speaking of, I've already started to like try and plan out like what I'm buying on day one because I'm like getting to the point where I'm refusing to pay full retail price for a lot of Lego sets just because it's ridiculous and I know that like everything goes on sale so shortly after. And then I was like thinking about all the sets that are coming out and I was like, well, I don't need the TIE Bomber anytime soon. Like I'll probably get it at some point, but I don't care for it right now. And there was also what else? Don't care about the five the Slave One Micro Fighter. Um, there's of course the Five Effort Specialist Pack, which I'll probably end up getting maybe like four of them. But again, I'm gonna wait for them to go on sale, so I might just buy like one on day one. Um, new modular, but I'm not paying full price for that unless there's double VIP. So that crosses that one off as well. So basically, not getting much on the first probably. Definitely Chaden, it's a lot of fun. Especially watching it back to back. Like, it's good. You get sucked into the universe and you're just like, this is fun. Highly recommend. I would watch it and then go and read it. I mean, personally, that's what I did. Like, the books will always tell you, like, more information and be, like, very more insightful. But, like, I don't think I get as engaged rereading them as I do with the movies. Like, you just get really sucked into it. Reveal season is coming. What do you expect to see from Harry Potter? I mean, I think I think that the second task set will be really good. I have low expectations for the Room of Requirement because I just anticipate it being, I guess, like a part of like the new Hogwarts system. And I don't think that that's going to work. I think it's going to feel too short. Oh, sorry, too small. Um, I'm also not excited for the banners, but... I guess we'll see about that. I, in an ideal world, that would be a set that I wouldn't buy day one. But it's Harry Potter. So, you know, sacrifices have to be made somewhere. I have, I have to be a good... I have to be good at my job for once. <laughs> Morbius set day one must buy it. Look, I, I want that Morbius minifigure, but I'm not buying a mech set. I'm sorry. Mech sets can get lost. I want them to stop. I'm tired. The Hulkbuster kills me. I mean, I don't think that Lego probably wanted to ever make a Morbius or ever planned on it. And then the movie came out and then all of the meme stuff. Because, like, it's a mech set, right? Like, they've got the formula for what the mech's going to look like down. It's not like it's a particularly hard set to design. They could have done that in, like, several months. Like, it wouldn't take them long. What was the worst case of buyer's regret you had? Ooh. I mean... Yeah, I would be annoyed if I missed out on the Brookshire from Act 2, especially considering they, like, never redid any of the figures besides Wong. Um, for me, it was less so, like, I guess, like, buyer's regret. Oh, no, it was. It was buying an entire box of Harry Potter CMFs. It was such a stupid decision. It took me far too long to get rid of them than I wanted, and it was just such a big waste of money. The Mobius set isn't a mech. Yes, it is. I swear it is. I, I swear it was, like... One of those, like, Miles Morales versus, like, Morbius mech. Like, isn't that what it is? Do you get the Wolverine mech or bought the fig free book claim? I just bought the mech. It was, like, ten bucks. I was like, might as well. And then I don't have to pay for shipping and all that, because I'm like, by the time I'm, like, paying for shipping and everything, like, I could just buy the minifigure and have him now. Although I did get rid of the actual set itself. I did not care for it. I can't remember where I got rid of it, but I think I just dropped it off in like a bulk lot or something. 50 bucks for the bridge battle? Whew, that is ain't fair. That is not fair. It's a Mobius car. That's still terrible. <laughs> I know Mobius is a great meme, but at some point, guys, we gotta, we gotta screw our heads on here and remind ourselves that that is a terrible idea. Then again, if you start buying sets, then that means that there's more Bricklink listings for me. <laughs> I swear it was a mech. I guess I'm, guess I'm wrong. See, this is the thing. I can't even keep track of, like, what LEGO leaks are happening anymore. Because I just feel like there's so much, like, there's so much just trash that I just don't care. <laughs> I'm just like, cool, moving on. To the next thing that's going to disappoint me inevitably. Boo. Boo, boo, boo. 
I mean, the Groovis Speeder is a pretty cool set. Pretty cool. Not that I have mine built anymore, but, you know. A car is even <laughs> as white as a vampire, you need a car. Precisely. Chayden, at least you've got your head screwed on. I mean, mainly I built the Jeevas Speeder for that Grievous figure. I should have just bought the stupid... I was literally... Ugh. See, now I'm just going to get mad the more I think about it. But, like, I should have just bought the Grievous ship because of how much that airborne trooper goes for now. No, change of plans. That's my buyer's regret. And not buying the Slave 1 because someone was like, Don't buy that. I have it. Idiot. And then I had to pay retired price for it. I have it now, luckily. Oh yeah, you know how I made a video several months ago about how to do Lego Star Wars and said, hey, don't buy retired Lego Star Wars sets. Um, and then I bought Jabba's Palace and a uh, 20th anniversary slave one. Well, now I want the Ewok Village, so <laughs> we're in trouble. We're in trouble. <laughs> not good, not good, not good. Morbill versus Miles Beck. Uh, oh, you, I, Super, are you the source? Should we quote you? Should we quote you as the source? Is it official? Yeah, I really want the Ewok Village. Like, I'm just, I'm really into Endor. Like, Endor is just, like, one thing from Star Wars that I've just got, like, nothing of. Like, I have my, um, what's the call it? My, my at, -AT that I haven't built. <laughs> but, like, I've just never ha had anything else. Capital Bricks, thank you for the $5. Good over, Holly. Happy Halloween. Thanks for the shout on your star. Oh, no problem. I managed to get a few 40558. Wait. Oh, they're the clone packs. Let me know if you're after any clones. I've been, I literally, I went into the Lego store the other day because I knew they came back in stock while I was gone. I said to my mom, I was like, mom, can you get me some? I want two more. Because then I'll have exactly 20 white clones. Um, and then they didn't have any. So I'm like, I'm keeping it, I'm keeping an eye out to see when they come back in stock. But I will keep that in mind. Lucky. I might just order them online, but then I have to pay for shipping. Oh, okay. Good Arvo, Holly. Happy that. Halloween. Ew. Thanks for the shout out. Like I want to. Instant. I like I was sorting Smiley out parts face. this morning because like I, I woke up at 4 a.m. Actually, I woke up first at midnight. I went to sleep at like 9 p.m. Woke up at midnight. Clones, went to the toilet. Went back to sleep. Woke up at 4 a.m. So I had like my shower, ate my breakfast, and at like 8 a.m. I'm like sat sorting through pieces, <laughs> and I, there was just so many clone pack parts, <laughs> so many of them. I like took all of my clones off the base plate actually the other day, so I've just like organized them now. So I've got like a bag of 501st, a bag of phase ones. My 501st and my phase ones are like my biggest armies at the moment. I need to get some more of the fighter tanks. So, Marvel or Star Wars? Star Wars. Marvel is just. Marvel's lost me. Marvel has lost me. So the Endor set at my local Target and I wanted it, but my mum said, no, you don't need it. Yeah, how many times have I gone back and said to my mum, I'm like, mum. Because you said no, this is how much you've cost me now. <laughs> I just said my Ewok set three months ago. Man. I did hear about Rihanna's song. I haven't heard it though yet. It doesn't come out in like two minutes or something. I want to listen to it. Like, I'm not like, I like, I like Rihanna. But like, I'm not one of those people that are like, why is she not posting music? When is her new music? I don't know. I guess it's just because I didn't like her most recent album. Not that I heard the entire thing. So I'm really not setting myself up right for this. But, um. Should I somehow read the Castaway promo? I opened the seals but not the bags. I guess you could. I mean, it's an ideas set, so I feel like it will be quite valuable. I haven't opened mine. Like, I've just left it sealed for now. Mainly because I'm just like, well, I know I don't have space for it, so there's no point in me doing it. But I bought all three 13 Snowtrooper Battle Packs for the at which I still do not have. So did I. And the, what was worse for me is that I looked, like, originally I was like, yeah, I'll get the UCS at one day. And then I looked at the Falcon and I was like, actually... If I'm going to buy one set for that price, that's the one I'm going with. So now I have all the snow troopers and no plans to buy the at, -AT. I'm like, whoopsies. Never mind. I'm excited for the Specialist 501st pack, though. I don't know how many troopers I have. I think in total that I've opened, like, six battle packs. Like, I just got very lucky that, like, I was able to go and travel to, like, the US this year. So that I was able to buy some. Because otherwise, like... My army would be tiny, 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 tiny. And I feel like, like, this is a rich claim coming from me, but like, <laughs> like I feel like that set does have like some sentimental value to me. Just because of like, I guess like at what, like how, like what that video meant for my channel in a way. It's weird, but it was good. 
keep forgetting to buy some more but hurry up guys again there's an amazon affiliate link in the description down below that you can use to buy your rubble your, your battle packs off amazon if you want i probably should order some and like ship them to someone Capital, thank you again for the $5. Ray the Castaway reminds me of the Tom Hanks character. I've heard a lot of people say that. <laughs> Even like in my um ranking celebrities minifigure video, people are like, why didn't you include Ray the Castaway for Tom Hanks? I'm like, it's not official. It's not official, guys. Man. Daniel, the set cost me far too much money for what it should have been. Help. <laughs> help, help, help. I'm excited to have it though. Like, I think the one I the one I really want though, like most. I think out of like all of the sets I have remaining is either the Chamber of Secrets or um, the 2004 Hogwarts Castle. I'm so excited for them. I bought the um, it's on its way to me with like a ton of pieces, but I almost oh new Hanks little. Character. Um, little sad they did I really want the what's my call it? Um, oh yeah, I bought the night bus poly bag. I need to get two of them so I can have one sealed and one open. Is that a bit excessive? There's one theme. I always like judge Star Wars fans. If there is okay, there's if there's one thing you need to know about me is deep down at my core, I'm a very judgmental person. And I will sit there in my head and I will be I'll be I'll be judgy. I'll be like, why didn't you buy this? And like I'll just sit there and I'll judge Star Wars fans for their stupid purchasing decisions. Meanwhile, there's me buying two poly bags. This idiot. <laughs> It's not good for your back to be on a yellow school bus for 14 hours. Ostrich, why are we on a school bus for 14 hours? Firstly. Secondly, I've messed this up. Thirdly, um, how, well, how did you learn that? <laughs> what on earth were you doing? Gosh. I had the basilisk. Jealous. See, if I didn't buy Queen Armadala at Brickworld Chicago, I probably would have bought the Chamber of Secrets that I found. Not good. I had to impulse buy and bought the Buzz Lightyear XL15 spaceship and now I'm building it. I still have that set. Len, Lego sent it to me and it was like right before I got kicked out. And like, I because I was on holiday and like it was a Buzz Lightyear set, I was like, oh, I'll just like live stream it when I get back. Like I wasn't in a rush to like build it or anything or like make content on it. And then I got kicked out and I was like, well, now I don't have to make content on it. So I just put it in my storage unit and I haven't touched it. <laughs> Which, like, I was excited for that set at first, and now I, I guess I just don't care about it. I still haven't even seen Lightyear, so maybe that would change if I watched the movie. But we'll see. Gosh, this year's been a long year. That happened this year. What else happened this year? There's a lot. Guys, the year's almost over. How did we get here? I love the Uphouse video you, you did a while ago. Thank you. I love I loved that little model. I need to put it back together. I had to take it apart slightly to bring it home, which then meant I had to bring the instruction manuals so I could put it back together. It's so cute. So, so, so cute. Still need to get that set. I mean, it's gone on sale now. I think. Or at least it has here. Eh. So I kicked you out. Why? Because I didn't do my Buzz Lightyear stuff. How dare you! How dare you not do my Buzz Lightyear review? I mean, I'm glad. I get to do what I want now. <laughs> I can buy the up house and promote it. I like, apparently you can't do that anymore. I'm like, lol. Wouldn't have been able to do my Mega Constructs review. Wouldn't have been able to do my, um, my up house. Like, guys, as long as the company isn't directly ripping off a model design, like, buy it. Test it out. It's fun. I got her in a bag of Lego purchases last year. Fun. Since you didn't like running, I got caught a lot. Oh, absolutely. Um, well, you see, I had a band trip, and for some reason, we only got one small charter bus, and only the seniors got it all. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Oh, dear. I needed to go buy a new shopping unit for it. Or, Blake, you could do what I've seen a lot of people do with, like, Technic cars, and, like, the big supercars, is, um, you put it... Have I made another mistake? I have. Great. Lovely. Um, is hang it on the wall. <laughs> and then you don't need to buy a shelf. Though don't get me wrong, I'm all about buying storage. I'm like my mum, it's bad. But at the same time, I'm not like my mum because my mum will buy storage just because, and I don't buy storage unless I have a reason to buy it. 
So there we go. It's predictable, but for me, I hated it. I mean, I've heard... Like, I think I, I... I'm pretty sure I know what the twist is. So I guess I'm, like, not too worried about that. Josh! I'm excited for your new video. And hi, how are you? I told my dad that you went to the Formula One because he was talking to me about it the other day. I was like, oh yeah! I, I mean, I didn't see Formula One, but I know my friend Josh was there. And he was, like, in Austin. I was like, yeah! He was excited. By the sounds of it, he's jealous that there are three US Formula One Grand Prix next year. Tell your dad I say hi. I will. Eh. Part of me really wants to go to um one of them. I know I could just go to the Melbourne one. <laughs> but I ain't going to. Hey KP, how you doing? I don't necessarily like running, but like I will do it and like I enjoy it a lot more. <laughs> a marching band comedy? That sounds fun. That also reminds me again of one of my favorite vines where they're like twiddling the baton. It's like, Patricia! Great vine. Capital, thank you so much for the $2. What's your biggest impulse buy? Mine was a Daily Bugle. This is one of my recent ones. <laughs> I literally was like, hmm, yeah, I'm going to be on What's the lookout for like any of like the Mine old Harry Daily Potter Bugle. sets, like from Goblet of Fire or Prisoner of Azkaban. And then someone was like, hey, I found this. It's sealed. It's this much. Do you want it? And I was like, yeah. Whoops. That was a bad idea of mine. Um, also, another one. What else did I get? There was something else that I bought recently that was an impulse buy. I can't even remember what it was now. I was like, oh dear. There's been quite a few. I've made a lot of like bad impulse buys. But like, I've been better this year. I've only bought stuff that like I really, really want. So we're doing pretty well. This is the weirdest building of all of these buildings. What is that? What is that? Oh my gosh, I love the back of the... Okay, so yeah, like, remember back in the day when Lego used to do alternate builds? There's that. And then here's the ad for the rest of them. So I have all of these now. I mean, I've done a review on the Dumbstrong ship already. If you haven't seen that, go and watch that. I'm going to do a review on this one this weekend. I've got the Hungarian Hauntel, and I'm going to do a second task one next year, just before the set comes out. And then I'm going to do a comparison on that. I should also probably do a Hungarian Hauntel comparison, but I haven't done that. Cardio is the best type of exercise. No, it's not. You know what it is? I mean, technically it counts as cardio. Dance is a great type of exercise. I really want to try Pilates as well. That sounds fun. I haven't been to the gym in weeks. Actually, you know what else is another fun thing of um, exercise is um, walking around a theme park. Highly recommend it. Do a lot of steps. Also, scare houses. Get your heart rate pumping. <laughs> Learned that the hard way. Learned that the hard way. Yeah, I need to go this weekend. My mom said she was going to sign up too. So I was like, yeah, I can go with her. Woo. Let's see your muscles. They're gone. They're gone. Everything's deteriorated. And I also ate way too many Twixes um, while I was away. I, the US, your cereal selection is fantastic, but your chocolate selection is horrible. Taking, oh, it's hot girl walk season. It's like, it's getting warm now. I like need, I need to go. Oh no, I would still get arrested. I still hate running. <laughs> like, if I have to play a game like that, I still don't want to run. I'm like, mm-mm. Get me on a treadmill though, yes. Outdoor running, no. Running for a... Running because Space Mountain has a 30 minute queue though. I'll sprint from one end of Disney to the other. I bought this set a year after it's released. Is this set 2009? This one's a 2005 set. Like, this is, this is old. This is, this is solid though. This is like a cute. Though, currently... Like, I'm actually, like, now that I've built it, like, I'm not a huge fan of it. Like, it's just a bunch of random sections. Like, it feels very disjointed. I mean, it looks really nice here on the box. But, like, I'm just looking, look, look at this pile. Like, it's just a bunch of random pieces. Like, each individual build looks, like, pretty well done. And I guess I like that the graveyard's a little bit more fleshed out than the, like, newer one. Oops. I just knocked off this little carriage here. I'm trying to, like, place it similarly to how the other one is. I also like that there's more graves. Spooky. This isn't even on the front of the box. This one here. This cauldron. I guess we'll just stick it here. Like, it, it, this is just, like, a pile of stuff. I love a good caramel koala. I literally, I went into, <laughs> went into Coles yesterday. Because I was looking for, like, those, like, 
um, hydraulic pimple patches that you put on at night because my skin is horrible. Like it's broken out really badly, like over here. No, over yeah here, and like on my forehead. So I went to go and find them, and they didn't have any. But I was like, ooh, three for two dollars, caramello koalas and Freddo frogs. Sign me up. Hey, Twix is good. I alternate in when I go to the U.S. I alternate between Snickers, um, mini M and M's, and Twix. Also love a good peanut M and M. Fair quality. Hey Joe, guess what? I'm going to do a Lipa in two weeks. <laughs> I'm going to wear my Barbie cargo pants if I finish them. The set number for this one is 4766. There you go. <gasps> I love Speed Champions. Goals, Unsolved Wizard. I like really wanted to get the office for Christmas, but my mom was like, that's expensive. And I was like, but mom. <laughs> oh, that's <was> funny. So. <laughs> Lol, I love that. I love that. Good work, John. Keep it up. Keep it up. All right. Well, this is all built now. Um, I'm going to review it. But quick first impressions. Not worth the price of the um, the secondhand market. Um, also, I haven't tried these on yet. But I got some more of like my merch samples in the other day. They printed this one like super wonky that I like want to question it. Um, but... It was like the trio. I got this one. It's going to go on regular t-shirts as well. But I was like, ooh, I like crop tops. I should make a crop top. Um, it's very wonky. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but it turned out well. Um, and I got one of my like Christmas things, which has like a, a Holly on film logo on the inside. But like it costs like, like $4 extra to do that. And I don't think that that's worth it. Um, but I did it for myself. So had that. Oh, I'm keeping the box for this one just because it's like it's pristine condition and because it's so old I cannot throw this away if it was a newer set though the box would be in the trash not if, actually not a Harry Potter set but that shirt looks great yeah I need to try it on and like question I guess why it's wonky <laughs> um otherwise it's all good also um spoilers for my Christmas stuff support? this should all hopefully or like hopefully support? my Christmas stuff is going to be ready in like a week planner. or two um but I got custom printed torsos face. made um, this is the no holly jumper that I made, and it's just gonna be sold on its own. This isn't gonna be made into a me figure, it's just gonna be for the piece so that you can put it on like your sig figs or people in your Lego city or whatever. Um, it's UV printed, very proud of that. I've also got two custom minifigures that I've done, um, just waiting on legs for someone. <laughs> so there we go, very, very cute. So I'm hoping to get that all done. Actually, I'll just show you spoilers, spoilers. Capital, thank you for the $5. Which F1 team do you support or would support? Please say McLaren. Donnie Ricardo is my favorite. Too bad he has no seat next year. I felt so bad for him. Like, I don't follow, um, like, Formula 1 super closely. Like, I still, like, I love, like, watching, like, clips from it and, like, hearing what's going on. And I'm definitely a McLaren person. Purely because my grandpa used to work for McLaren in, like, the 90s. Um, for, like, their F1 teams. So, I'm McLaren for that reason. I feel like I have to be. It's good. Your Christmas stuff looks really dope. Thank you. This one is a is a Hollyberry t-shirt. I should just pull it out. Again, I haven't tried these on. So, there we go. This is a different t-shirt um, quality to the other ones. If this is... Ooh, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, embroidered Hollyberry. Actually, it seems fine now that I'm holding it up. Um, yeah, and then I did... I tested out the logo on the inside. It looks pretty cool, but I just don't think it's gonna be worth how much that like costs to put it on but yeah this is a christmas t-shirt because it's australia it's hot i'm gonna do sweaters and t-shirts um i love it oh he's going to red bull as a reserve oh good yay i like him i like him he's australian and he sat in the lego car that i sat in um so yeah there's the christmas shirt and there's i also did a blanket i've done a blanket i don't know what it's gonna look like because i haven't got a sample of it but i made a blanket um, also, if anyone, like, does order anything, please tag me now. I'd love to see it. Um, people have sent me, like, photos before. I love seeing it. It makes me really happy. Um, so the other two minifigures I've done, this one's all complete. He's ready to go. It's a Santa Toy Story alien. Um, I made this because of my plushie that I got, <laughs> and I designed it off, like, the Disney popcorn buckets. Um, all of them are just single-sided prints, by the way, because I wanted to, like, I wanted to do these as a test because I didn't know how the quality was going to turn out. So I only did one side for these ones. Like, this is, like, my first batch, like, test run, limited wave for the holidays. And then we've also got um, Christmas Spider-Man. He's going to have the dual-molded um, blue and red legs, but they haven't arrived yet. 
so <laughs> might be a while this one might be delayed but he's coming as well the aliens are all done and the torsos i've still got to like put some of them together but otherwise they're all done um very excited for these like i'm excited for the christmas stuff um it's gonna be the holidays line because why not make it about myself um but yeah i like this one i'm gonna put it on my sig fig for christmas i'm keeping one of each for myself so more toy story aliens for your house i have like i made 30 of them in total um so i have just just this giant bag of toy story aliens it's very satisfying so i'm hoping that these will drop next week or the week after i've got to finish up like all of like the clothing pieces so now that i've got my shirt makes me better because like i can see what the embroidery is like so originally there was going to be like lines through the leaves but there wasn't enough like thread colors but in the printed versions you'll see that extra detail but there's like shading on the side of the berry so like this one's ready to go the blankets ready to go the aliens are ready the torsos are ready um, there will be a restock as well of the torsos because I didn't order enough hams to begin with. Whoopsies, my fault. Um, but yeah, so the, yeah, these are all like Lego pieces. Like I ordered them off bricks and pieces and then I just got them custom printed. So now that I've had them as a test run, like I want to do tiles in the future. I'm going to do a members tile as well, um, which I'm excited about. So like once those are done for any of the members who place an order, they'll get like a free tile as a thank you. Um, I also want to do something for, like, Brick World Chicago. Like, I think that would be really cool to, like, um, do for that and, like, tie it in. I've, like, worked on a couple of things. I had some ideas. I want to make a, like, a custom epilogue Ron and Hermione figures. And I really want to do, um, a custom Bellatrix and Molly Weasley skirt printing as well. Because I was like, well, if that's something I complain about all the time, why don't I make it? Um, I'd love to do a pink 501st clone as well someday. But I don't know how I would do the helmets. Because I need to find someone as a pad printer. Type the link to your store in the chat. I should. Um, for anyone who... I can't find it. I know it's in the description. But it's hollyonfilm.com. If you haven't looked around. But yeah. So the ho the holiday stuff will be coming. I want to get it out um, early enough. So that you can get it shipped and delivered before Christmas. So there you go. But yeah. Very, very excited. Oh, good morning, Lauren. How are you doing? So what upcoming 2023 Lego Star Wars are you most excited for? Five of first specialty pack. And um, the helmets I'm excited for, and like more of the dioramas, but like we don't really know too much about them right now. So currently I'm like five of a specialty pack with cool. So I'm excited. Thank you, Lily. So yeah, got some exciting things happening. Got to finish my Halloween costume. <laughs> I'm scared that I'm not going to get it done in time now. Uh oh, we'll see. Still got to film a video this afternoon. I should hopefully get everything done, but we'll see. Hey, Nate. All right. Thank you everyone for hanging out with me today. I took a very long time to build a set because I kept stopping to talk. But that's fun because it meant we can catch up and hang out. And overall, it was a fun time. What's my favorite Disney park? It's between California Adventure and um, Disneyland. I love Disneyland. California ones are great. California's great. Look forward to the view. Thank you very much. I might try and film it tonight as well. Because if I can't get my... <laughs> Actually, you might see this review tomorrow. But purely because I don't know if I'm going to be able to film my video that I was going to film and edit and upload tonight. So if so, you're going to see this review. Because it's faster for me to film a review than this other video. So I used... To, see, Eternal, I used to have that set and then I sold it and then I regretted selling that set. And it's the only Toy Story minifigures I'm missing. So right, thank you, Lily, for sharing that. Oh. There you go, Music Man reveal. Let me pin, yeah, good idea, Lily. Let me pin that. Eh, 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 pin. There we go. Thank you. So, exactly, Blake. And that's why I'm like, well, if they didn't do them, I'll make my own. So, yeah. I don't know when that will come out. It'll probably be, like, June next year. Um, I'll probably also do some, like, Gringotts stuff. Like, I'm trying to, like, plan out a lot so that I can get everything designed and then produced and then, like, get ready. Um, I have a lot of fun doing, like, my merch designs and all of that. Like, it's so fun for me um, just to, like, do something fun and, like, creative. My girlfriend is going to be you for Halloween. I need to see that. I'm excited. That would be funny. Is she wearing pink track pants? I feel like you'd have to wear pink track pants. I need... I keep getting distracted too, don't worry. But, yeah. Also... I want to see your Halloween costumes. If you're on the Discord server, send them. I don't care if you blur out your faces or if you want to do a face reveal. I don't care. I just want to do costumes. I'm judgmental when it comes to Halloween. You better be all out. Anyway, hope you all have a great day. Great year. Yes, it will be packed for the rest of the year. Although, good news, I've got Halloween figures for next year planned already. Woo. Okay, bye, everyone. See you later. See ya. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. That'll be funny, Lulu. Okay.
Okay, have a great day. See you later. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye. Bye.